So, to talk about religion or not to talk about religion. Now, when I looked over my history on like YouTube, uh, by far and away the most common thing that I watch is music. But after that, I had a pretty decent hodgepodge. The majority of what I watch is like political in nature, which is actually pretty well represented in my content. Uh, I also have like a lot of business and economic stuff, which is again pretty well represented. The one thing, however, that I find myself kind of hard to talk about, and that like if I ever film a video and I don't like actually publish it, it tends to be a video on religion. Religion seems to be the topic that I think a lot about that I just have significant trouble actually articulating. And I'm just trying to figure out why I have such difficulty speaking about religion. Now, my first inclination was to say, because as a former secularist, I kind of understand that the worst part about Christianity is Christians. <laughs> like, uh, honestly, like... There are a lot of Christians who, if they could just shut up, there would be a lot more Christians in the world. And as someone who is not the most well-versed in the Bible, like, I'm biblically literate. I have read, read the Bible, but, like, I'm not by any means, like, a biblical scholar. Like, I don't really know how qualified <laughs> I am to genuinely talk on most of it. Like, the only part of the Bible that I do genuinely know, like, very well is the Gospels. But even that, there's quite a bit that, okay, I don't even know that all that well. So maybe it's more ignorance, but I don't really know how I would ever get to a stage where it would be comfortable. Because I have read the Bible multiple times, and I have read the Gospels, like at least the philosophy of Jesus. Like, what is it called? The Jeffersonian Bible, I've read probably like 10 to 20 times. So like, I do know enough where I can talk about it. Like, I've read the Bible more than most Christians have. But um, I guess another thing is that, um, okay, so I understand, the first thing could be that I understand a lot of Christians just aren't, like, good. They actually turn away more people from the religion than, like, they actually help. But... In that case, it would make me particularly well-positioned, because as someone who did spend most of my life as a secularist, and, uh, like, does still genuinely respect the secular community, like, I'm not going to bash on them. I, I see the points to secularism. It's not completely irrational, like a lot of Christians pretend it is. But, like, I guess I could do a couple of videos, but I don't really know how much. And... I guess that's where it comes down to. I don't want to lead someone away because I missaid something. Like, I don't want to say anything that would mislead someone or make them, like, not move towards Christ. And I know from personal experience that there are a lot of people who do that. <laughs> and, like, a lot of my videos also kind of fall under the category where it's like, if I'm just speaking off the cuff... I come up with a lot of random things. Like, the last religious video I made was attempting to apply justified true belief logic to God, and uh, I was just rambling it, and it came out as if, like, I was significantly more, like, atheist than I am. So, like, a lot of my rambly more type videos don't really fit well within the context of religion. I guess that's another thing. There is just no danger to talking about politics. Like, as much as I dislike Trump, America's gonna be America if Trump gets reelected. Like, I don't think he'll destroy anything. If Biden gets elected, America's going to continue being America. I don't really think that, the president isn't as influential as people think they are. Yes, there is a lot they can do. Like, I don't like Trump as a president, but like, <laughs> what's it, uh, like, <laughs> in general, this year has been the most impactful from a political standpoint on my life, but from a personal standpoint, it really hasn't been all that impactful. Like, COVID really hasn't done anything to mess up my vibe other than I've had to go online for more events, and okay, it's getting a little annoying in a couple of areas, but it's, like, let's just say politics is not nearly as important as religion is. Like, <laughs> salvation is more important than what happens on this planet. And, like, 
if I talk in such a way that it leads people away or leads them to question, because here's the thing, I still have a very secular mindset. Like, even though I am now a Christian, I do have a fairly secular scientific mindset. So, like, if I misspeak, like, leading someone away, that's not necessarily a good thing. I guess that makes sense. Like, the reason I'm more hesitant to speak on religious issues is than political issues is because religion's actually important. <laughs> like, as important as politics is, like, what, what's the uh, Jesus phrase? Like, don't worry about people who uh, can only kill the body but can't kill the soul. Or, like, I'm paraphrasing, but you, you get the idea. Like, this world is not, like, as important as we pretend it is. Like, we don't have to worry as much about this world as we do. And that's, bear in mind, that's coming from someone who genuinely is interested in politics. A lot of, like, hyperpolitics is kind of bullshit, whereas salvation isn't. <laughs> like... Eternity is more important than temporality, or temporality. You, you get the idea. I guess that makes sense. One of the reasons, the, the reason I'm hesitant to speak on religion is because it's actually <laughs> important. And uh, there's far more risk involved in religion than there is in any other topic. Like, if I mess up some something when I'm talking about art or business or politics, oh no, I'm thought of as stupid. Whereas, if I mess up something with religion, that might cost someone their soul. <laughs> so, like, that's a lot more important. <laughs> that's a lot more, more important. So I guess the question comes down to, how would I become comfortable? Because if it's just the people who... If, only, if the only people talking about religion are the same people who, like, as someone who is secular, are those people, <laughs> like, the people who are leading a lot of people away from Christianity just by virtue that they aren't, <laughs> like, I, I don't think, you, you get the idea, or at least I hope you do, I'm, <laughs> given I'm repeating that. So, how would I get comfortable enough to speak, given... That, like, if I don't, then a lot of the current Christians will just, like, keep leading people away from it. Like, I'm at least cognizant of the fact that speaking on religion in an unhelpful way can do more harm than good. A lot of other people in Christianity aren't. <laughs> like, I don't know. How would I get comfortable enough to do that? Like, I guess increasing my biblical literacy, but, like, I don't even think that that's necessarily the case. Because I'm, like, I am basically biblically literate, or at least more biblically literate than most Christians are. <laughs> like, I was more biblically literate as in, like, when I was back as a deist. So, is there a way to talk on religion that doesn't lead people away from the faith or wouldn't even run the risk of that because salvation is actually important I guess I don't know how how do I become more comfortable I guess it's one of those things where it'll just come with time like the more I become acquainted with faith, or maybe it's just the fact that I'm trying to apply biblical concepts to the political arena, which, um, yeah, probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> like, especially seeing as I do think, like, Christianity requires secular governance. So, because from like a personal standpoint, a lot of Jesus's teachings are more or less summarized by power ethics. Like, don't overindulge, help other people. Like. A lot of it can be explained in other ways. So maybe it's, I just haven't thought enough about, like, the Old Testament, maybe? Okay, I think I'm just rambling at this point. Um, I guess just up my knowledge and up my comfort level.
<laughs> this is probably the best thing I can do. Um, honestly, I might not even post this. I'm going to see how it sounds when I play it back and see if there's anything I find of actual value. So, uh, yeah. Is there a danger to talking about religion? Kind of. Salvation is important. And I don't know how to talk about it in such a way that uh, I can help save more souls than I lead away. <laughs> Which, um, yeah, once I get comfortable with that, we'll see. But, um, yeah, uh,